Hey guys, today you were practicing converting measurements. Uh, in one case, you were going from feet or yards um, to either inches or feet. In which case, you discovered that you were multiplying uh, either by 12, the number of inches that are in a feet, or 3 by the number of feet that are in a yard. Hopefully you were using your reference page to remember these. Or you were converting back from feet to yards, in which case you discovered that the inverse rule was the case, and you were going backwards. 3 divided by 3 equals 1, because there are 3 feet in 1 yard. But the real question is, how do we remember if we divide or multiply? Well, let's take a look at uh, yards and feet. Well, we know well, we know that there are uh, three feet in one yard. And remember from your um, function table that to get from yards to feet, that you multiply. So we will draw a arrow from yards to feet and put a multiplication sign there. And I'm going to write multiply. And from our other, going backwards, when we went from feet to yards, we had to do the inverse, and the inverse of multiply is to divide. So if we look at it this way, we're in a loop, depending on which way we are going. So yards and feet, we go around. Now, yards are bigger than feet, right? So we have a bigger measurement over here. Think of a yardstick versus a ruler, okay? So we have a big measurement over here, so we're gonna put big over here, and small over here, okay? So one of the ways to help us anytime that we are converting is to um, make our own, and we make sure we have our big, measurement over here, our smaller measurement over here, and we figure out are we going from big to small or from small to big. And if we're going from a bigger measurement to a smaller measurement, say from miles to yards, then we know we're going to divide. And if we're going from a smaller measurement to a bigger measurement, uh, say from inches to uh, feet, then we know we're going to divide. Now, a little riddle from to help you remember also this is to say, well, um, horses and flies. It, could divide. it comes up with horses and flies. Now, a horse is a big a uh, big animal, so we're going to put it on the big side. And a fly is a very small animal. So we say if you're going from a horse to fly, you multiply. And if you go from a fly to a horse, well you divide of course. So here we have it all wrapped up. If you're going from a bigger measurement, say like a horse, to a fly, smaller measurement, then you multiply. But if you're going from a fly, a smaller measurement, to a horse, a bigger measurement, then you divide. Horse to fly, well then you multiply. But a fly to a horse, then you divide, of course. 